Hey, what's up guys? It's Josh here. I'm here with Coach KK and we're going to go over this week's Fast and Furious Fat Furnace Friday workout. So, we have 15 seconds on the clock, 15 seconds to rotate. You're going to go six exercises. We're going around the room four times. Then we'll go through four rounds of that and then we'll do four more rounds of six new exercises. You ready, KK? Ready. Okay, so station number one, we're going to start off with our burpees. Let's get those out of the way in the first half this week. Kicking those feet back, exploding up, reaching for the ceiling. Notice how KK brings her hands outside her, or brings her feet outside her hands. You can do a step back burpee as well if you need to modify. You can also do jump squats. You can do drop squats. You can do air squats. Whatever you can do well for those 15 seconds. Challenge yourself here. From there, we're coming over the suspension trainer and we're going to be doing our chest press. So push up position here, knuckles turned down so you're punching your zone, those arms forward, moving plank here, glutes squeeze nice and tight, roll up those abs, squeeze those shoulder weights and push that air out as you press on up. If you need to make this lighter, you step a little further out. If you want to make it a little heavier, you step a little further in here. From there, we're going to come over to the blue floor. We're going to be doing uh, using our sliders to do our slider mountain climbers here. So push up position, drive those knees in as quick as you can. Try to keep those hips nice and stable here. Shoulders over your wrist the whole time. If you want to do this without, the, you can slow down if you need to. You can also do these without the sliders here, driving those feet up or touching those toes down or you can just hold that plank for that 15 seconds. From there we're coming over to our kettlebells and we're going to do our kettlebell reverse lunge. So we're going to hold that kettlebell in that goblet position. I suggest you go wider on this one today. Keep it at a light weight because we want to get some quality reps in. We want to get those fast reps in here as well. So deep breath in on the way down. Push that air out as you drive on up. You can alternate legs here or you can do one leg for the 15 seconds to the, next, the other leg the next time you come around. From there, we're heading over to our skiers. Remember, we're going to get that soft bend in the elbows, and then after that, nice rigid arms here as you sit that butt back, point those hands down behind you, coming up to your toes as you come up to reach for those hands, or you reach all the way up, hold those hands, and push that air out as you pull them down. Then, from there, we're coming over to our last station of the first half here. We're going to stir the pot, so we're going to use that stability ball, get those forearms and elbows on the ball. Squeeze those glutes tight, nice and wide with those legs, keep your hips stable, and just think nice and controlled as you make those circles here. Start small with those circles, and then see if you can get a little bit bigger. If you want, you can do this from your knees. You can also hold a plank on that ball from your toes or from your knees if you need to. Okay, so that's the first half of today's workout. The second half, we're about to get started here. I got Coach James over here, and he's raring to go. So, on the rope, oh, let me be sure, are you ready to go? Right. He is ready to go, everybody. Here we go, so on the ropes, we're gonna do our reverse flies here. So you're gonna be facing away from the wall, think about squeezing those shoulder blades, pulling those hands apart here, reaching behind you with those ropes. You are gonna wanna step in close to the wall more than usual because you wanna have that slack in those ropes here. If this is hard on those shoulders, you can just turn around and go into those rope blades. From there, we're coming over to our suspension trainers. And we're gonna do our rows now. So we're gonna be facing the opposite direction. Squeeze those shoulder weights. Push that air out as you pull. Think about that moving plank. Glutes squeeze tight, kneecaps pulled up toward those hips. Pushing that air out as you pull yourself up. From here, we're coming back over the sliders. And this time we're gonna be doing our spider climber. So for this one, Similar to our mountain climber, but now we're going to go wide with that foot, bringing that foot, trying to get that foot up outside that hand, shifting back. Remember, as you reach with one leg, you're pulling that other leg up. You can also do these without the sliders, driving that leg up one at a time. Now notice how James is jumping here. If that's a little too tough, you can just step one foot up, take it back, and bring the other foot up. You can also hold that plank for that 15 seconds if you need to. From there, we're coming back over the kettlebells, and now we're going to be squatting on this, this round. So, clean that kettlebell up to the chest, goblet squat position, sit that butt back, elbows in nice and tight, deep breath in on the way down, push that air out as you press back up here. And then from there we're heading over to the dumbbells and we're going to be doing our renegade rows. So we're going to get into that push up position here. Get the hell out of here. Squeeze those glutes nice and tight, those wide as you need to with those feet. 
and then pull that dumbbell up towards your chest and armpit here. Now, if this is hard on that hand, holding on that dumbbell, you can always put one hand on the floor and do 15 seconds on one arm, and the next time you come around, switch to the other arm. You can also do these from your knees if you need to, or you can just hold that plank for that 15 seconds. And then we're onto our last station here. We're gonna come out to the strip of the blue floor. We're gonna be doing our Heisman. So here you're gonna go, side step, one, two, three. Pull that knee up at the top. One, two, three, one, two, three. Be careful, folks, it's dangerous over here. One, two, three, one, two, three. Holding that knee up every time. If you need to take the impact out, you're just gonna step side to side here for this one. Okay, that's our Fast and Furious Fat Furnace Friday workout for this week. Great job, Katie. <laughs>